take a moment and to yourself, name five things you love about your body. It's okay, you can be a little vulnerable. How did you do? Were you able to name all five? Did you get one or two and struggle with the rest? Now name five things you hate about your body or would instantly change. How'd you do now? Was that easier to answer? It is this that has made me realize that you do not have to love your body, just stop hating it. I'm actually gonna like time out real quick. So before I start my talk, I just want to acknowledge that I understand there's a lot of men in the audience, and this talk is definitely gonna be geared more towards women, but that is only because I have never been a man, and no matter how hard I try, I cannot get men to let me into their social circles when they stand around and talk about their body issues. So, <laughs> I swear they, I'm for sure that they do it. I don't know though. But, so, I hope that everybody hope, has an open heart and an open mind, because I do feel that this is for everybody. I am a beauty and boudoir photographer. I photograph real women in lingerie and are nude. <laughs> and yes, that actually is a profession. I got into this completely by accident. Growing up, I told myself every single day how fat I was, how ugly I was. I had convinced myself by middle school that my legs were so disgusting that I had to cover them. In New Mexico, we have hot summers. Middle school, covering my legs so hot because I convinced myself that I had so much cellulite that I was repulsive to look at and I had to hide it. Middle school. This continued on for a long while. In college, I was an art student and I was determined to be a little different. So my junior year, we were given the task to do um, a self-portrait. So I decided that I wanted to, this was my moment, to be one of those artsy students, and I was gonna do a nude self-portrait. Uh, I completely forgot that I had to turn that sucker in. If I would have remembered, this never would have happened, trust me. So I did the photo shoot, everything went great. And then I was in the dark room, and I was working on a couple multiple, multiple different projects at the time. And I remember one woman coming to life. I remember looking at her back and at her legs and thinking how beautiful this woman was. It took a couple of minutes or a couple seconds, and then I realized that woman was me. This was the first time in my life I realized that there was nothing wrong with me. So this is the first time in my life I was able to see myself without the lies that I had convinced myself of. This was the first time in my life that I was able to see my body, me, the way my loved ones see me every single day. It was in this moment I realized everything had to change. The way I talked to myself, the way I interacted with myself, and this was when I decided to start my photography business because I had to share what I'd learned with others. So, how do you shut down that self-hate voice or that negative voice that's in your ear? It's annoying. But we have to shut it off. So how do you do it? Do you have to get naked or in your underwear if I have a photographer? <laughs> don't worry, lucky for you, you don't. You're safe. But I do have three tips for you to do every single day, and it'll improve the way you see yourself, the way you interact with others, and that will change your life, I promise you. So, one, take the damn compliment. <laughs> take the compliment, that's all I'm saying, take the compliment. <laughs> so if someone walks up to you and says, oh, that dress looks so nice on you, do not respond with, oh, but I look so fat. Or, oh, you're just saying that because you're my friend. Stop, stop all of that. You are beautiful and they are complimenting you because they love you. They think you are perfect right now. Say thank you. Allow yourself to hear the nice things that people see and feel and love about you. 
Accept yourself to hear that. If you feel a little stuck up but just by saying thank you, then smile, say thank you, and give them a genuine compliment because they give you a genuine compliment. Two, look in the mirror. That's a hard one sometimes. So if you are getting out of the shower or you just did a wardrobe change and you kind of run because you don't actually want to look in the mirror and really see what's kind of going on, it's okay, take a moment, take it in. You're beautiful today. You don't have to stand there for 30 minutes. Just take in a couple of seconds and see your body. Your loved ones love you. It's time that you start to as well. And then that brings us to three. And that is, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. If you are in the dressing room and you're trying on your pants or then you, you know, you're trying something on and they just don't fit, do not respond with, ugh, I am so fat. Stop it. Or if you're waving to your friends and you realize it's not just your hand that is waving now, but other parts of your body. <laughs> it's okay that is your body and your body is beautiful. It may change, it may not, but it's okay. It's part of you and you are beautiful right now. So I will be the first one to admit this is not an overnight solution. I am standing in front of you today in pants. It has been seven years since my self-portrait, and I still struggle daily with the way I see my body. But the way I have talked to my body, the way I interact with myself, has completely changed, and that has opened me up to have amazing relationships with so many people, and it's just the way I see myself. So, before we close, think of five things you like about your body. You don't have to love, you don't have to hate. Five things you like about your body. And if you take anything away, just remember that you do not have to love your body, just stop hating it. Thank you. <laughs>